Hey everyone, it's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're uh, on the go-kart again, trying to get this thing wired up. I would love to get this thing finished. The kid, grandkids are just tickled to death. They can't wait. So we got to get this thing finished up. So I'm going to do my best to get what I can done in this video. Well, right now we're working on the wiring and the wiring's taking an awful lot of time because I actually soldered every single wire and shrink wrapped them and trying to do the best job that I can. So I'll show you what I'm up against right now. Now I got the uh, front lights all wired up and uh, you can see we got this piece in here and all them wires coming back to the motor and uh, we're getting ready to hook them up but let me show you the headlights I think you'll like these guys so we got the headlights all hooked up pretty cool and just on the toggle switch and I got the back lights hooked up too so I have the headlights and the tail lights all hooked together that way when you turn your headlights on your little tail lights come on in the back which is pretty cool so Basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on this wiring. I figure you guys wanted to sit around and watch me solder all these wires together. So I just been taking my time getting it done and uh, that's about it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try to get the wiring finished up today and then we're going to start jumping on this rear end because we got to put the axle in there. And uh, there's just a lot of stuff on that rear end to do. We still got to get the seat bracket i got the seat bracket over on the table over there it hasn't even been wire brushed down it needs a little bit of welding to it so i mean i got some work to do i got foot pedals to put in that uh i don't even have the bolts for the foot pedals so uh i got a lot to figure out so anyhow bear with me we'll get this project done Okay, I finally got all the wires soldered in there. Everything's been shrink wrapped and soldered. This is our bundle of wires going back. These are our headlights and everything to make the motor run. Um, I'm going to be using this tubing, which I picked this up at Harbor Freight too, uh, pretty cheap. Uh, just to get all these wires in, to hide them, to make it look a little neater. Sometimes this could be a little bit rough getting them in that little tube but it's gonna look better once it's all done and that's I like it to look good when we're done so I'm basically just gonna go ahead and fight this guy on here get all these wires into place take me a little bit of time but that's all we got right now is time That's going to look better than all them wires just laying in the bottom of the go party. Every once in a while here, I'm going to take a little bit of black tape and just wrap it around it. I'm not going to squish it now. Just going to wrap it around it and we'll cut it off. Just like that. That's going to hold that tube and then wires coming back out of it. Eventually, I'll probably end up taping the whole entire wiring harness all the way up to the front just so it holds it together nice and tight. All right, just wanted to show you guys some of the wiring. You can see we took our lights down and we run it through the conduit too and down. I'm not crazy about it being that close to the steering, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, we got everything wired up in there. Bring the wiring down, right down through there, and then up into the back of that uh, switch. Uh, and just tape that down along there. I just wanted to make sure everything was out of the way so don't get caught on your feet or anything like this. And, and that will go right under your seat. And these guys have enough room to go back uh, to tighten my chain. So right now, everything should work. Headlights, got good headlights. You guys seen the tail lights? Now, with this thing on, it's 
So we got power to the switch. Oh, I don't have the gas lines hooked up or anything back here, but that's my next step. I'm going to get back on this back in here. I got a lot of stuff I got to get cleaned up. Um, I got extra gas line to reach from the top down to the carburetor. I just got a whole bunch of stuff to do in this back end. And that's pretty much my last part. Well, I still got them brake pedals. The brake and the gas pedal. I'm a little bit worried about them because when I took them apart, uh, they were so rusted I broke both bolts going into them pedals. And I just got to figure something out for them pedals. Uh, pedals, motor, and rear end. Still a lot to do. Okay, I've been working on the rear end and a lot of the parts for the rear end. I disassembled this whole entire thing, uh, your brake uh, caliper, and cleaned it and got it working really good. And then I got the rear axle. Uh, cleaned up here and all the parts that went to the axle uh, wire brushed everything down and made sure everything was good and clean now on this axle and I don't know a whole lot about these go-karts but they had some little sleeves like so welded on here to keep that axle from sliding back and forth so what I did is I took two collars that I pieces of pipe that would fit on there and I just put a nut on there and welded it and I'll be able to slide this on where I want it and tighten it up to keep it from sliding back and forth. Um, I don't know if they sell a piece for that or not but I figured I'd just make a couple of them and I did. So now I'm going to get to assembling uh, this rear end, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, we got to get it up in there and get the, the sprocket in there, the, the brake uh, rotor in there, the caliper. All that stuff's got to be set up in there just right and lined up with our chain down in there. So that's going to be my project here for the next hour or so, getting this rear end in. This thing sure does look different with uh, some uh, wheels and an axle on it. Trying to get the axle over snugged up against that side. I think we're getting it. It's been a little bit rough trying to keep that brake. Little brake pads want to keep falling out. But I think we got it. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up these bearings i think they're about where we want them now i got that one wheel on so we still got room to snug that wheel up i guess this is all a guessing game getting right where it needs to go on here So, um, I don't think there's too much more here I got to do. Get the other wheel put on there. I got the other wheel over here. We got more than enough to snug it up. So, Actually, I might have to take this thing and go that way just a little bit. Just a little. But I think we're okay. It sure does look different with some uh, uh, rear tires on it, that's for sure. It's looking good. Now, it wouldn't be right if we didn't have some more problems here. We got the whole rear end in, which I thought this rear end in had a pretty hard time with it. Um, and that's that 420 chain, and uh, by the looks of it, it's not going to work on my sprocket down here on the axle. Uh, it's fine up on the uh, torque converter, but um, I'm going to have to order another sprocket. This sprocket's not going to work for this. So we're going to need uh, something that the uh, 
uh, 420 chain fits in uh, now like I said I'm not really uh, that good with this type of stuff but I'm gonna get online and uh, probably get a hold of um, GoPowerSports.com and see if uh, what can, they can do about a sprocket for this thing so uh, we'll see what we can get well I went in there and got a hold of GoPowerSports they're sending me out a sprocket for this guy um, it kind of stinks because I really wanted to get this thing done and get it put back together but we'll get it we're just gonna have to take our time and wait on our parts so I guess while we're waiting on this back sprocket we might as well get working on this seat um, I haven't showed you guys yet but uh, go power sports sent me a brand new seat I want to show you guys this seat I think you're gonna love it let's check it out now when we first got the go-kart um, I did a video on it and uh, was gonna restore the seat but uh, like I said go power sports sent us out a brand new seat uh, we might have to do a little bit of modifications to it but I don't think so much but this is really going to make the go-kart stand out and uh, a good addition to the go-kart and as you can see it has two bucket seats to it and we could leave we could move this up and down where we want it because we're fabricators we'll fix it the way we want it but I think this is going to be a really nice seat for the go-kart so that's going to be our project we're going to get this seat mounted in that go-kart well the first thing I gotta do is this is the old seat uh, bracket that went in the bottom of the go-kart we gotta get this thing wire brushed down and cleaned up but we're gonna get all these brackets cut off these look like they were put on there years ago uh, must have had some problems with where, where the seat was mounted on so we're gonna cut these off and we're gonna put in two triangles one in each corner where we can bolt our seat we'll make them out of eighth inch steel this will be a good bracket once we get it all done so basically gotta get the wire brush out get this guy cleaned up all right i went ahead and uh cut me a couple plates to put in these corners we got this pretty well ground down pretty good got those other old brackets cut off of there so we're going to be welding these plates i got two of them here one for each corner go weld them in each corner just like that Now all we got to do is get this guy primed up and get it painted. Okay, we got the seat in, got the bracket all done. It turned out really nice. Uh, really like the seat. The seat turned out really nice in there. And uh, this, like I said, that seat came from GoPowerSports.com. I'll leave a link at the bottom for GoPowerSports.com so you guys can go in there and check out the seats they got. They got some nice parts in there. So... We got a lot more work to do to this thing. We got to do our foot pedals. Our foot pedals are, I, I, like I said, I broke the bolts down here that went through the side. These bolts where the uh, pedal goes in. If anybody's got the name of these bolts or where can I pick these bolts up? Um, I looked, but every place I looked that they only had them with the pedals. So if you guys uh, know where I can get a set of them bolts or if you got a set, just send them to me. Um, we ordered the sprocket. The sprocket's on the way, but it's going to be a few days. Probably won't get it till later on in the week. So we're going to hold off on that rear end and just leave it set like that until we can get that sprocket put on there. Uh, I do got all new hoses for this gas tank. Uh, we got to mount the hoses on there. There's not a whole lot more to go to have this go-kart done. It's not going to take much more. So... I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. 
Till next time.